Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to play Bee Swarm Simulator, or the Bee Swarm Simulator Beginner's Guide. Right, so as soon as you spawn into the game, you will have some red lines pointing to these hive spaces. So just follow whichever red line goes to the closest one to the shop. And then once you're on top of this giant circle, up here, either click it or press E on your keyboard to claim the hive. Now once you've got the hive, come over to the top left, click on eggs slash items. As you see, I have a basic egg. You click and drag it to one of the green hive spaces. There we go, click yes. There we go, you have your very first bee. Now once you have your very first bee, what you will want to do, or the basic premise of the game, is to go to fields, click and hold to collect pollen, which your bees will help you with, click and hold on leaves to get treats and other sorts of things, and get more bees and better items to get pollen and honey faster. So as you can see at the top of my screen, my pollen container is full. It will say at the bottom right as well. So once it's full, go back to your hive, press E or click up here to start making honey. As you can see right there, that was a random ability from someone else's bee that helped me out. So when that happens, always collect the prizes. So now that you understand the basic premise of the game, what you will need to do is redeem codes. So at the top left, come to this cog and click on it. It says system. And as you can see here, it says promo codes. Click and enter codes. Here is one code. It is called wink. Redeem that. There we go. I got 5,000 honey. Another one is roof. Redeem. Five tickets. Nectar. And there are lots of other codes. You can check out all of the codes in the top right of the screen in my video for all working Bee Swarm Simulator codes. Once you have watched that and used all the codes, come back to this video and continue from here. All right, so I have finished redeeming all of the codes that are available for me. And as you can see at the top left, we have all of these. These are all buffs, which <laughs> give you a lot of extra stuff. And if you look in eggs and items, you have all of this. That's amazing. But what you'll want to do first is to go up to the shop, go inside, click at the top or press E, skip the first two, and go to this green backpack, buy that, and then go to the equipment and buy the vacuum. Now that we've got all of that, head over here, all the way past these signs to this right here, this giant egg vending machine. So just buy an egg, go back to your hive, open eggs and items, and there we go, we've got another basic bee egg. Hatchet, there we go, we've got two bees now. Now that you've got two bees, you see these jellies here? Use them on a bee to get a different type of bee. There we go, we've got a bumblebee. And if we use this one on this one, we've got a shocked bee. So what you can do is grab a treat, pop it on them, and they will level up. There we go. Now once you have done that, close it, 
close the egg and item menu, then go back to a field and start collecting more pollen. As you collect pollen, at the top of your screen, your bar will go up. While you are collecting pollen, be sure to dig at leaves to get greater treats and items. As you can see, my container is full, so go back to your hive and make honey. Now, as you only have two bees, it may take a little while. As you can see, from just one trip to the dandelion field and back, I have gotten myself 14,000 honey. Now with that honey, go all the way up to the egg dispenser again and buy as much as you can. There we go, I bought three more eggs. Open your eggs and items, go back to your hive and place them all down. Now that we've got five bees, we can put another jelly. There we go. Now what you will want to do is come all the way over towards the giant red cannon and past it to this black bear right here. Talk to him by clicking the button at the top. You can read the dialogue if you want, but if you don't want to read it, just keep clicking until it disappears. Then you'll see a red icon next to your quests. It says, collect 100 pollen from the sunflower field. So this is the sunflower field right here. So you can just go ahead, collect 100 pollen, says quest is done and makes a ding and says at the bottom right. So once you've done that, go back to Black Bear, grab your reward, and you can continue doing that with not only Black Bear, but Mother Bear and all the other bears. Let's see what Mother Bear's quest is. Feed one treat to your bees. Do I have a treat? Yes, I do. I've got three. So I will go back to my hive, feed a treat to this one. Yep, there we go. Now that the quest is done, go back to the bear or to the NPC and get your reward. There we go, we got three treats, a ticket and 250 honey. Now this is basically what you'll be wanting to do to get more honey and more pollen. As you can see, eventually if you do it and do this long enough, you'll become like this guy. Right here, a pro with all of these bees. Another thing is to find the secrets. There are lots of secrets ar around the map with free items. As you can see, there's a secret royal jelly up there. If you want a free royal jelly, come to this ticket shop go around the side on top of it and there we go there's a royal jelly there's lots of other secrets like in here there's a maze if you go to the right and follow the wall there you go there's some jelly beans and if you go to the left instead you can go all the way here go in the first one and voila here's some tickets five tickets now since you have some royal jellies in this case I have a royal jelly oh, let's just quickly pick all of this up since I have a royal jelly here put it on one of your basic bees yep I got an epic Riley bee now what you want to do is not have a hive full of just basic bees because they are well basic and they don't have many abilities so what you will want to do is get a lot of diversity in your bees to get a lot more power-ups and a lot more pollen. Now since you have five bees, you can go through the field, up this ramp into the five bee area. The five bee area is very dangerous though, so do not get hit. As you can see, here's a spider. All of my bees are attacking the spider, but everything is missing. That's because the bees are not high enough level. Ooh, there we go. They're hitting slightly, but that's about it. If you want, you can keep coming in and out of the portal so the spider doesn't attack you. Hey, no mind. 
as you can see your bees will run out of energy. When that happens they will go back to your hive and rest. As you can see the spider is almost defeated. We'll have to do this for a little longer. 3 HP, 1 HP, and there we go. Collect all of the things that you get and as you can see your bees will all level up or at least level up a little. So as you can see from the spider, there are lots of dangerous enemies that you can face. In this field, there's a ladybug. So that is very dangerous as well. This is just one reason why you need a lot of bees to help you out, to defend you from all of these evil bugs and to help you collect pollen and honey. If you come up here, you will find another royal jelly. Go back to your hive and feed it to your last basic bee. Transform it and you get a different type of bee. That is all you need to know, or almost all you need to know, for Bee Swarm Simulator. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.